Welcome everyone, I'm Eric Jones and let's get right to it with another edition of Campus Cooler. More space means more beer. Terrapin Beer Company in Athens is looking to ratchet up its production of brew. News source reporter Mary Ashley Tucker is behind the pint-sized story. This may look like a lot of beer, but Terrapin Beer Company plans on making even more. In fact, quadruple this amount. What began in 2002 with only one award-winning beer now sits in a 35,000 square foot warehouse facility. Within this factory, you can find fermentation tanks, brew houses, and the finished boxed up product. The beer company, known by locals as a place to spend a sunny afternoon, is expanding their 25 barrel brew house to 100 barrels, which will produce 200 kegs of beer at one time. And it doesn't stop there. Now the space you see behind me are all their fermentation tanks. Terraman hopes to double the space and hopefully bring production up to 40,000 barrels. And with a larger workspace comes the need for more workers. Terrapin President John Cochran says that they will be hiring four or five more people in 2012 and long term plan on doubling their employees within the next five years. And the expansion is not all that Cochran is excited about. Unfortunately, with the capacity constraints that we've had because Hops Kushner has been growing so much, we've been making Hops Kushner and Ryan and, and haven't had the ability to make all the crazy beers that we've always done. So there's going to be a lot more of that coming out. Right now, beers are aging in whiskey barrels, wine barrels, even barrels infused with cherries. With new space and more workers to lend a hand, Terrapin Beer Company is excited to show Athens and the Southeast exactly what they are capable of crafting. I can only imagine that gives Terrapin enthusiasts another reason to go. And now for some more upbeat news as well, especially for those in the Athens area that travel to and from Atlanta a lot. The Athens Banner Herald is reporting that the Discount Express Bus Company, Megabus, will begin offering services between Athens and Atlanta next week. That's big news now, considering that gas prices are shooting up all across the country. Athens Development Authority say that the service will boost local tourism. And earlier this week, students had their chance to rip the runway. Yes, they did. Wednesday night highlighted UGA's first ever fashion week, and boy, were the latest trends out. News source reporter Wendell Scott didn't miss a moment of the fashion. It's a jungle out there, and a student group is dressing for the occasion. The Fashion Design Student Association will hold their Where the Wild Things Are fashion show tomorrow at the State Botanical Gardens. Usually we have two shows a year, one each semester, but we join forces with UGA Fashion Week to have one fashion show for this whole year. Fourteen student designers will showcase their work under the creative theme. We want to have fairy elements and animalistic elements and combine them together to showcase our work. But our, where the wild things are, it serves as a theme, but each designer has their own different collection. Now the wild thing about this show isn't the theme, but it's what it's actually benefiting. All proceeds go towards Radio Tanzania, which aims to preserve 100,000 hours of Tanzanian music on reel-to-reel -reel tapes. So they want to take these archives and digitalize them, so they need to raise $13,000. The fashion show is one of the final events of UGA Fashion Week. A historic clothing exhibit on display at the Miller Learning Center will mark the official end of Fashion Week next Wednesday. Wendell Scott, Grady News Source. All Fashion Week events this week have scored huge crowds. I'm sure that the planning for next year's event will begin right after tonight's program is over. And the countdown is winding down for the biggest night in film, the Super Bowl of movies. Yes, Oscar night is Sunday, and several actors and actresses will be enshrined forever with the words, and the Oscar goes to. The Help has gotten a lot of Academy love this year and is the sentimental favorite among many. Not only is the award up for Best Picture, but several of the film stars are up for the Golden Men. Relatively unknown before this year's award season, Octavia Spencer is expected to win Best Supporting Actress over a competitive field, a field, might I add, that includes her co-star Jessica Chastain. And Viola Davis, their co-star, is a frontrunner for Best Actress for her portrayal of a Mississippi maid having to overcome in a role that has been tied to her personal life as well. She's the daughter and granddaughter of maids herself. 
The actress will have to battle it out, though, with some stuff, stiff competition, someone who she calls her idol, none other than Meryl Streep, who channeled the first female British prime minister in The Iron Lady. I guess we'll have to find out who wins all of those statues on Sunday night at 8.30 p.m. on ABC. And now we turn to some music news and Chris Brown's controversial two weeks continue. He may face charges after stealing a fan's iPhone and driving away. ABC News reports that Brown and rapper Tiger were leaving a Miami nightclub when a fan followed the singer back to his car. But before she could even snap a pic, Brown smashed the phone and according to the police report said, quote, you ain't gonna put that on no website. Wow. Brown has yet to issue a comment on the matter. And what's that sound I hear? I do believe that's the sound of gossip that you're hearing. It's time for the hot mess of the week. This week I'm gonna definitely have to give it to Paris Hilton. Your time is up, sweetie. Nobody cares that you just came out with a song called Drunk Text. You did look cute at the Grammys last week, but I think it's time for you to have a seat. Thank you, sweetie. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you again in a few weeks.